Hello everybody, Jean here with an important update. The rover Perseverance photographed a really strange aerial object earlier today. We'll be looking at four photographs taken by the left and right navigation cameras at the same time. So this object appears in both cameras on both photographs at the same time. Two earlier photographs are very overexposed but the last two are very intriguing. Let's have a look at where 3 Hour Atlas is at the moment. At the time of this video, I'm located near Johannesburg, South Africa, 4th of October 2025, and at the time, Atlas or 3 Hour Atlas 1933 was located over there near Mars. So it's basically According to how I understand it, it's passing Mars at the moment. And many of us theorize that it's going to drop off drones, perhaps. Who knows? I don't know if drones were dropped off, but this object is very, very intriguing. So let's have a look at the source pages and this strange aerial object. So the right navigation camera or nav cam took this photograph, Sol 1643. All photographs I'll be showing you were taken on this Sol on the 4th of October 2025 at 21 at 33 39. And that's the case for all the photographs we'll be checking out. As the original photograph downloaded from the NASA site. And as always, I'll include the link to all these in the video description that we can make out it's a long cylindrical object rounded at both ends and I think it's tumbling yeah we're looking at it from a slight angle and in the last photographs we're seeing it directly perpendicular so let's have a look at that close up very overexposed but yeah, check that out, folks. And then the left navigation camera, same time and date. And there's that photograph downloaded from the NASA site. And there's a closer look. And that object shows up very nicely in the next two photographs. So right nav cam, took this photograph. Let's take a closer look at that. There it is, downloaded directly from the NASA site. To get the round shape there on either side. And then I tried various upscaling models in Gigapixel and that circular shape appears in all of them. So what the heck could that be? And then the left navigation camera took this photograph. And there it is again. Check those circular shapes out. I don't know what those are. I don't know what to think of this, folks. And he has a side-by-side -side comparison of the left and right navigation photographs taken at the same time and same date. What could this object be? Doesn't look like a typical blur that is left by one of the moons being photographed by the rover, like a streak or blur of light. This thing has got geometry and shape to it. 
Obviously, this isn't through our atlas itself. It's way too far from Mars to show up in detail like this. Hopefully, the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter photographs it. But if you go to the NASA site, you'll see there's a little notice at the top that says they won't be uploading new photographs due to a lack of federal funding. So let's see what we see in the near future from the high-rise camera. That'll be very intriguing. But I'll be keeping a close eye on the rovers to see which new objects show up in the Martian sky. As I say, there are researchers that speculate through our atlas is an artificial object and it might drop off drones. Who knows? Is this one of them? Or is this just another aerial phenomenon that showed up randomly at the time? So I thought I'd bring you this news as quickly as possible. It is very, very intriguing. And it's strange that the federal funding was stopped at the same time as this through our atlas is passing Mars. Very intriguing. Could there be something behind it? Are they trying to hide something from us? Who knows? Anyways, I look forward to engaging with you in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.